Right, and welcome back. I am Maxius Slight, and this is Tutorials for Seven Days to Die. Now we're in number nine, I believe, and I wanted to cover farming. I've mentioned it in the cooking episode and the food episode. Um, I believe the farming needs its own episode, which is quite complex and quite involved. Okay, so, first of all, let's talk about seeds. Now, seeds come in different shapes and sizes. You have the, corn, the normal seeds, which you can get from plants, flowers, um, things like potatoes, yucca seeds, coffee, all of these seeds here, cotton, glenrod, uh, goldenrod, sorry, uh, aloe vera, blueberry, they're all, and chrysanthemum, and coffee, and so on. They're all seeds you get from getting the product. So, for instance, corn here. We take corn, we go to recipes, we go to recipes, and it gives us what we can use corn in. That's one little tip for this. If you find stuff in your inventory that you're like, what can I do with it? Press the recipe button, and it'll tell you. So, we make corn seeds by going onto craft, and it gives us a corn seed. Now, simple as that with the regular seeds. Now you have, similar is the tree seeds, you get by chopping down a tree, it will give you seeds. Now these are pine seeds, um, they behave slightly differently to normal seeds, so I'll cover those really quickly first. To plant a tree, you put it on the ground, simple as that. And you can't plant another one unless it has, I think, five blocks separating it from another tree, this is the tree. So when it goes white like this, there might be four, but you can't plant them close together. So you can only plant them quite spaced out. However, if you go to normal seeds, they can be planted right next to each other on each block. Okay, so that's seeds. What well, um, there is one exception to all of this, and that's mushrooms. Mushrooms are a little bit more involved. To make mushroom seeds, you need the mushroom spores seeds, and you need one dirt and two mushrooms, and you craft that, and you'll get two of the excuse me, two two of the spore seeds. Okay, and they're planted in the same way as everything else. You just look at the ground, oh, and you drop them because you didn't plant them properly. But that's the, that's the principle. Okay, so farming. Um, the ground has to be soil. Okay, it can't be burnt by you. I don't think um, uh, clay. You can't part and stuff like that. Um, the biome, the destroyed biome, you can't find. So you need dirt. You either find dirt in the normal way, or you can make dirt and make a frame and plant it. Now the way you do that is you get dirt in your inventory, go to recipes, and depending on which forest you want, what ground you want, you click grassy ground like that, and it requires 12 per one. You craft it, and then <coughs> you can put them down. Now, as you can see, this is quite an undulated ground. If I put this down like so, and make a little, little area, three by three I'll do. Now I have dirt. This could be on sand, could be on a desert, could be anything. If you import the dirt and put a little frame around it if you want to make it look neat, you don't even need that, but you can, I always do to make it look neat. You have dirt, and you can now plant on that simple as this yeah and there you go you have now got your seeds down here's the thing with the with the farming um, you're going to need some tools you're going to need a shovel and you're going to need a hoe an iron hoe is easy to make once you have your um, furnace up because so you thought 
you make some forged iron and some wood. And shovels come in three different flavours. You can make a stone one immediately in the game, in similar principles to the stone axe, etc. You can make an iron shovel with forged iron, and you can make a steel shovel on the workbench with steel and wood. Um, you might, what I tend to do is level out the ground and make a nice little area or something like this. And you might need to dig. You might need to build up with the, making the ground blocks. But you make a nice even level, and you have an area you can farm in. Now, the the ground to farm on comes in three different. Sorry, I'm hungry. I need to eat. Okay, comes in three different types. You have regular ground, like this, which isn't been treated at all, it's just put down um, or cleared. You have tilled ground, and you have fertilised ground. Now the benefits of each, <coughs> um, if you put one piece of corn down on normal ground, you'll get one ear of corn in return. So we open that up, and we have one. So that's a one-to-one -one ratio, which doesn't really help us because we would have collected one-to-one -one on the on the corn. Yeah. Okay. If we just simply till the ground, which is a case of getting a hold of uh, a cleared piece of ground, we get rid of any of the grass with the right click, and it does this kind of thing, clears it, and then with the left click, sorry, the other way around, with left click we get rid of the grass, with the right click. And having dirt in our inventory helps as well sometimes because you might need to repair the ground. You use the hoe to make a piece of tilled ground like this. It's very simple. Okay, now I have a piece of tilled ground. This is tilled earth and it will remain tilled forever. The grass won't grow back on it. But um, the differences are with regular earth you get one to one ratio with tilled earth which this is you will get three to one ratio so every one you plant you get three years of corn in return so that helps you if you have a small patch of of whichever uh, resource you need whether it be flowers for painting flowers for your tea for medicines for food vegetables potatoes etc you can pick all of uh, once they're, they're um, Riped, ripened, so you, you plant them like this and they have a grow time. So, and as you can see on the untilled ground, the grass has returned straight away, but it won't return if I till it. So, on the untilled ground, one to one, on the tilled ground, you get three to one. The next stage is fertilizer. Now, if I grab the fertilizer out of here, it's just like upgrading any of the blocks we did on the base. You have it in your inventory, you right click, like so, and it uses the fertilizer to fertilize your ground. There you go. Simple as that. I now have a patch of ground which is fertilized. The thing with fertilizers is it will run out, it will have it does have a lifespan of a certain amount of plants and rotations of, of the seeds, and then you'll have to re-fertilize the ground. But the benefits are that you get a 5 to 1 ratio. So for every single seed you plant like that, you will get 5 products in return. So there you go, you see you get lots. This will really, really help when you're needing to mass produce things. However, um, with the farming, you could till the ground and get 3 to 1, as I said. But making fertilizer is an incredibly involved process. I'm going to show you now how we make fertilizer. And what you need is a cement mixer. So if we go into our skills, and we go, it's for concrete is the skill. You need concrete mixing, which allows you to make the cement mixer. You need construction tools at 30 and science at 3. So it's quite high end and then you can make yourself a cement mixer and you need an engine which you can get from the cars by using a wrench on a car you have a small chance of an engine um, dropping for you 
the rest springs mechanical parts again you get from using a wrench on other things forged iron you make in a uh, forge quite simple um, one little tip with the engines they have a quality on them if you're going to use things like generators and mini bikes use uh, let's have a look engine let me show you now this one is a three three twenty nine uh, three hundred nineteen there you go that's a crappy one you know norm you normally when you've got really low skills would get a crappy one it doesn't matter the quality of the engine that goes into a cement mixer so I would recommend you use your low quality engines for cement mixers and your high quality ones for things like mini bikes and generators okay so once you've got your cement mixer um, also um, you can make fertilizer in your chemistry station which we covered in the last episode I'll show you both pr uh, processes you click on the um, cement mixer highlight fertilizer you need rotten flesh which you get from killing zombies and zombie dogs and uh, using your knife to skin them you need nitrate powder and dirt fragments so let's have a look in our thing here we'll grab some of those right we go on to here and the most we can make is 20 now the, here is the thing you've just used 200 rotten flesh which you get maybe one two per zombie if you go for zombie bears, good luck to you killing one, but you get a lot more. So there's quite an involved process with um, gathering that amount of rotten flesh. But here's the other rub. Let's mix that. That's going to take 164, 165 minutes to create 20 of them. So for all of that resource that we've just put in there, we've now got to wait three hours in get, um, real time for that to be produced. Okay, so it's a hell of a process of involvement. Now, let's go here. With this one, you need human turds, which you can find in the toilet. It's incredibly gross, but there we are. Nitrate powder and dirt fragment. So let's grab a stack of turds, which makes me repulse, but there we are. We can now make 250 because we had a lot of turds. Um, if we go back to one. Okay, so we need one turd, ten powder, and to create one takes six minutes per unit. Okay, so we'll make that, and that's going to take 1,603 minutes. That's gonna, yeah. So you can see it's an involved process, and you have to wait for a long time. Let's run back to our farm. I have a couple of other things I wish to show you. Now, if we were just to get rid of this, and we are going, we've got, let's make it so we understand the easier numbers for me because I'm not that smart. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 20. Now that 20 represents the three hours we have to wait for the, the first one, okay? And this is a three by three square. And let's upgrade this all the way with fertilizer. Okay, now that is fully upgraded and it's cost eight of our fertilizer just to do a three by three square. I don't think I've quite got one of the squares done, but uh, it's not doing. But there we are. So eight fertilizer just to do a three by three quick square like that. And that's gonna give us five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 45 corn or whichever resource we put in. Um, it won't be 45, I think, for... Let's just take this out. Go to Goldenrod, Harvester Ball. Chuck those in a minute. You get four. Uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms Harvester Ball. You get four mushrooms. 
I think the next one I wanted to see was potatoes. Potatoes. Potato plant harvestable. You get a four again. So it's a good um, upgrade from one to four. But as you can imagine, making a larger farm with this amount of fertilizer is a massively involved process. Okay, so that's pretty much farming in of itself. Um, let's really quickly recap. What you have to do is clear yourself a piece of land, till the land by using a hoe. We get the hoe. is isn't uh, gated beyond any skill, but you do need a forge. Um, then you need to get seeds from everything you may, you find. So you can pick these in the world. There are farms. There are um, loots of seeds. So however you get your seeds, you create your seeds. And you plant your seeds. Okay, simple as that. Now you have the resources on the hand to... Um, provide you with all the vegetables, plants, and medical um, assistance you need. Um, for uh, Aloe Vera, let's go to Aloe Vera really quickly. Aloe Vera harvestable. We drop one of those in. And we loot two of those. Now go to recipes. And the Aloe Vera cream, you need four of these plants to make one of those units. Now that doesn't, you know, you might think, well, why do you need that? But if you go to bandages, no, let's try that again. Bandage, okay. You have the two types of bandage. The first one you make just with cloth, which will stop any bleeding if you if you get hit and you start bleeding. And then you get the first aid bandage, which will give you some health back and stop the bleeding. And the first aid bandage takes one cream. So each one of these takes two pieces of cloth and four aloe vera plants. So you can see where farming becomes critical later on. Okay, there's one other thing um, really quick what I want to show you. Let's bring in that. Sorry, anybody's sensibility, but hunting. Again, with the food, I spoke about hunting. Um, I've just killed the stag. Use a bladed item, and as you can see on the bottom right, I get meat, hide, and fat. And then you would take all that into your crafting area and your cooking area and make lovely food. Um, in the painting episode, which I'm going to be doing soon, you'll see how important it is to get the plants. Um, the plants are easy. You find them in the world or you make your farm and you simply pick them up like so. There's the red one, there's the cotton, and if we found the golden rod, we pick up the golden rod. Now, if we go to recipes for those, you can get golden rod seed, you can make into golden rod tea, which we spoke about, and they go into the paint. Same with the cotton, you can make seeds. Uh, they go as part of the bed, which is the upgrade, the two beds are the upgrades from the um, bedroll. Uh, mini bike seats and so on. So cotton, you might need a farm for as well. Okay, that's pretty much it on the farming and a really quick show of the um, animals and how to skin them. Those, that block there is called a gore block. If you leave those around, it will add to the heat map and therefore summon more screamers in. So you do want to get rid of those. Okay, that is farming done. Um, fertilizer is a very involved process. Um, you need the cement mixer, a lot of resources and a lot of time. But once you have it, it massively benefits you in the amount of resources that you're going to be able to pick up from each seed you use. So my last piece of advice for you is when you are, I, I would start out with a farm you just till and collect seeds and try and work towards fertilizing if you really need that amount of equipment, uh, sorry, resources. And um, when you pick up your resources to get three, I would go in and only make seeds. For, so you have three there, you need one, one seed per every amount you pick up. So then you can reseed your farm. Okay, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. 
Tada.